China Coast Guard and Maritime Militia have been spotted near one of the biggest islands occupied by the Philippines in the disputed Spratlys in the South China Sea. Philippines Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana confirmed that Chinese vessels had been located off Pagasa Island. Mr. Lorenzana said, they were present there intermittently but varying in numbers, Asia Maritime Transparency Initiative Director Greg Poling said China has maintained a constant maritime militia and Coast Guard deployment around Pagasa Island for 424 days and counting. Philippines Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana confirmed that Chinese vessels had been located off Pagasa Island. Mr. Lorenzana said, they were present there intermittently but varying in numbers. Asia Maritime Transparency Initiative Director Greg Poling said China has maintained a constant maritime militia and Coast Guard deployment around Pagasa Island for 424 days and counting. The Armed Forces of the Philippines Western Command said it had monitored 275 Chinese ships near Pagasa since the beginning of 2019. The Philippines heavily protested the presence of the Chinese vessels. With the Department of Foreign Affairs branding the deployments illegal but, the Philippines calls refer to the areas of the South China Sea it claims and occupies as the West Philippine Sea. China has built artificial islands prohibited Filipino fishermen from working and interfered in oil and gas exploration in some of these resource-rich areas. The Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague recognized the Philippines' sovereign rights in some sea features within its 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone that are being claimed by China and warmed Beijing against future violations. China rejected the decision and insisted on its claim to practically the entire South China Sea based on historic rights. China has built artificial islands, prohibited Filipino fishermen from working and interfered in oil and gas exploration in some of these resource-rich areas. The Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague recognized the Philippines' sovereign rights in some sea features within its 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone that are being claimed by China and warmed Beijing against future violations.
China rejected the decision and insisted on its claim to practically the entire South China Sea based on historic rights. The Chinese are in almost constant dispute with their neighbors over control of the strategic waterway. Earlier this week Japan announced it was taking measures to help Indonesia protect its fishing grounds after a series of aggressive incursions by China. Officials said they were transferring the 741-ton ship Hakuri Maru to Indonesia as well as providing a 15.3 million pounds funding to boost the impoverished country's Coast Guard's fleet of vessels to help it thwart illegal fishing expeditions in its territorial waters in the South China Sea. Alongside our brothers and sisters in arms around the world. In the Middle East, our Coast Guard forces prevent and neutralize terrorist threats while conducting maritime security operations in the Arabian Gulf. The 27-year-old Hakurani Meru is 206.5 feet long and has berths for 29 people Kazuhiko Shimizu, economic counselor at the Japanese Embassy in Indonesia said the measures were being taken to promote its free and open Indo-Pacific strategy. He said, recently, Indonesia has suffered some losses due to illegal fishing. China insists its fishermen are free to conduct activities in their traditional fishing ground, which partly overlaps with Indonesia's exclusive economic zone around its Natuna Island group. Chinese fishermen have since December operated in the area escorted by boats from the Chinese Coast Guard. Tensions in between Beijing and Jakarta soared early last month when Indonesia's military tracked Chinese Coast Guard vessels and fishing boats in its waters and scrambled warships and fighter jets as it raised its combat alert status.